Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. This is the Naples Herald Lunch Break. I'm Janelle Simmons. Today we have another plane crash, Ohio getting rejected, and more. Today is Wednesday, November 4th, and this is the Lunch Break. A cargo plane that was reportedly overloaded crashed along the banks of the Nile River after taking off from the South Sudan's capital, killing at least 25 people. South Sudanese officials say a crew member and a child survived. For more details, check out Naples Herald. Authorities will announce that a northern Illinois police officer whose shooting death led to a massive manhunt in September killed himself. The investigation into the death of Lieutenant Charles Joseph Glenowitz determined that the Fox Lake officer died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. A U.S. Army veteran, affectionately known as G.I. Joe, radioed on September 1st that he was chasing three suspicious men on foot. Backup officers later found his body 50 yards from his squad car. Authorities said in October that the officer was shot with his own weapon. For more information, go to our website. Ohio voters rejected a ballot proposal Tuesday that would have legalized both recreational and medical marijuana in a single stroke, a vote-getting strategy that was being watched as a potential test case for the nation. About 65% of voters opposed the measure compared to the 35% in favor. Sorry for that 35%. A longtime Gulf Coast High School teacher passed away suddenly. Multiple sources confirmed the passing of 51-year-old Scarlett Levy, a prominent local teacher for a number of years, notably for her time at Gulf Coast High School. Grief counselors will be on campus to speak with students. We will update as more information becomes available throughout the day. That was the lunch break for today. I'm Janelle Simmons. The lunch break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.